First shot is a laces strike, and I've talked about this a lot before. The biggest thing is you really want to focus on flexing this foot, making it really firm, really strong. Okay, if you have a weak ankle, your toes aren't pointed down, your foot's not flexed, you're not going to have a very strong shot because your foot's going to come through the ball and it's going to create backspin because when you're hitting it, your foot is loose. Okay, when you go through the ball, you want to be really strong. You want to keep those toes down, keep that ankle locked, really strong foot. You're trying to strike through the center of the ball. Okay, it helps if your planting foot is beside the ball, your toes of this foot pointing towards the net. And you really want to fall through straight through the center of the ball, fall through to your target. So if I want to go to the right, my foot should end up going through the right. If I want to go to the, to the left, it should go to the left. If I want to go straight, try to make your foot go straight. But the biggest thing is you keep that foot flexed, locked ankle, strike through the center of the ball. So this shot is a curled finish with the inside of your foot. Basically you're trying to strike the ball on your big toe, this part right here, okay, or even a little higher. But I'm trying to hit the ball on the side to create spin, okay? And the only way you're going to do that is hitting here on the corner of the ball to create that spin. If you're not getting spin, you're probably hitting it too center on the ball and it's just going forward. Okay, if you want it to curl, you have to hit it more on the outside to create that spin on the ball. So similar to the last shot, curl with the inside, this is curl with the outside of the foot. So here you have to learn to hit the ball with the outside of your foot. Before we were hitting it right here, now we're hitting it right here on the outside of the boot, okay? And it really helps if you lock your ankles again. Remember that firm shot we had with the laces? It's the same thing except this time you're hitting it on the side. Okay, and when I hit, I want to hit on the outside of the ball again, not right in the middle. Hit on the outside of the ball to create this spin like that, okay? It's gonna feel weird in the beginning because especially on your weaker foot, your ankle isn't as strong, so you need to learn to flex that ankle. You wanna hit it on the outside, okay? Create that spin. This shot here is what I'm calling a composed finish and I'm sure you've experienced a lot, you're in front of the net and for some reason we complicate it, we try to strike it as hard as we can or we, we try to over complicate the shot when really all you need to do when you have enough time in front of goal you can keep a calm mind, all you need to do is pass that ball into the corner just like a normal pass. Okay, so think about just using the inside of your foot, normal pass, get your body over the ball to make sure it stays down, and then you just want to pass the ball into the corner like you have a teammate waiting there, okay? Don't make it any harder than it has to be. You don't have to always rip the ball as hard as you can. If you can just find the corner, pass it in the corner, you'll make it a lot easier for yourself and a lot harder for the goalkeeper.
this shot is a chip shot, a traditional chip shot. So basically you're thinking about jamming your toes under the ball, right in the center of the ball, okay? And what's that, what that's going to do is going to create the ball to go high very quickly because I'm getting under it. If your laces shots are too high, it's probably because you're doing that. You're hitting here and your toes are coming up through the ball. Okay, with the chip, you want to chip under the ball. Okay, it'll help to get your planting foot beside the ball. Again, point your toes where you want to go. If you want to go this way, point like that. If you want to go more that way, I'm going to point that way. Okay, if I want to go straight, I'm going to point my toes straight. And again, I'm going to chip underneath the ball. Last shot I want to show you today is a scoop chip. So this one, or I'm going to call it a messy chip because he's so good at it. It's when you're really close to goal, you don't have any room, you probably don't even have enough for a traditional chip. You got to get the ball to go up and down really quick. So instead of jamming your toes under the ball, this one you're scooping. You're scooping and you're flicking. Okay, so you want to get under the ball and scoop it up. Now you may feel that when you scoop your tendency is to go across your body. So I think it helps if you aim a little more on the inside of the ball. Okay, you'll scoop right up. But again, just like anything, it's going to take practice to figure out what's the right technique. But I'm getting under the ball and I'm scooping it right over the keeper.